Hey, thanks everybody for joining us this morning on Live Music Nation. I'm your host, Jake Gill. Today we're with Heidi Steffen from the Lynn County Fair. Heidi, how are you? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Good. Heidi, give us a little background on you. Where did you grow up? And then talk about your career transformation to where you're at now with the Lynn County Fair. Yes. So I grew up in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and I actually, as a child, I was in 4-H at the Lincoln County Fair, but it was just a really small fair. It was just 4-H. There was nothing else really at the fair. Um, I went to Cornell College not far from here, moved away um, to Augusta, Georgia, missed my snow and came back to Iowa. Um, then I started working at Cumulus Media and actually worked for several radio stations here and the Lynn County Fair ended up being one of my clients. Uh -huh. At the time they were asking, hey, they're just starting to grow, wanted to know if I knew anyone that would be interested in helping with the fair and doing marketing and starting the sponsorship. I said, I don't know, I'll keep my ears out. The more I thought about it, I never had a marketing internship in college, and that's kind of really my passion. So I said, hey, I'll do it. So it became kind of a part-time job. Um, I started all the partnerships. We started at a carnival in the first time in 40 years. Um, the first year that I started, we brought in our concert. The second year that I started, um, that was now 15, 17 years ago. Um, now I'm a complete volunteer at the fair. I do all the marketing with that, um, on a lot of committees, and just very involved. And it's grown over 600% since I came on in 2005. Wow, fantastic. Uh, as, a, as a kid, what was your greatest memory of the county fair? I think one of mine was our 4-H club. We were a city club. And again, there was just 4-H stuff. There was no thing. So we actually brought in and, and created a mini, like, old-time carnival. Uh -huh. And I just remember just being able to do all that and just how everyone was so excited and happy to have something else at the fair, you know? And I think the other thing would be, <clears throat> I had a campfire, one of my um, things that I brought was a campfire display and how to do it. I was so proud of it. And if I was just a little bit older, I would have gone to state fair, but it was just one of the, you know, I did all the research. It was such a big um, a, a accomplishment for me at such a young age. Yeah, we were we were talking the other day about, county fairs and and really they they pretty much all had a 4-H basis now whether they're still based on 4-H some of them are total 4-H fairs but for a lot of farm families um that was their vacation every year you know because you are in an agricultural world and in the summer's a busy time you can't really get away for a week uh, but right. you can you can you can you can make it to the county fair for four days in a row you can go home do your chores come back and and kind of thing so that was that was that was seems to be a a common denominality that we see um, across the board when we look at county fairs across the nation. So, tell us a little bit about where your fair is at now and the events and the organizations that are involved now. Yep. Um. So the fair we, we're about fifty thousand now weekly um, attendance with that. We have anywhere now from you know, concerts to truck contractor polls. Um, we have a lot of now on grounds, free entertainment um, from, we have an ag center. So one of the things, so the county that we are in, in Iowa is the second largest urban county in Iowa. So one of the things that we have really tried to take on responsibility is to really do a lot of that ag education. So there is a free ag zone that the actual lo local FFA chapters put together to go ahead and teach that and get the hands-on activity. For some of these kids, the, the closest they get to a cow is as they're driving and by it on the interstate. Um, and then again, we have all the 4-H FFA, and that is really our, our staple of our fair is the 4-H FFA part of the fair. Um, and just kind of relate to your story, my kids now, again, we're, we live in the city, but my middle one wants to be a farmer, you know? Yeah. And he loves the fair and, and he gets that opportunity now to, to get out to culture. What's the best part of your job right now? Best part of my job is to be able to um, bring and, and spread that awareness of the county fair and then to see those kids. So my favorite day of the fair is actually youth day. Thanks. So it's a free day at our fair. And we even get busloads from daycares and camps that come. And just to see all those smiles it makes it all worth all the, the hours and hours I put into it. It's well worth it. Ah, that's good. That's very good. What, um, a couple of fun questions here. So you, you've obviously have entertainment at your fair now and things like that. And you've been to many concerts before that in your lifetime. What, what's one concert that stands out? What's your favorite concert you've ever seen? 
that I've ever seen. Yep. Is it at a county fair or just in general? Anywhere. Um, I actually, my favorite would be Shine Down. Not too long ago, okay. um, just put on an awesome concert, and I've seen them many times, but just recently they just—they're a crowd pleaser. It was one of my favorite. Perfect, perfect. Okay, if you could bring any one act to your county fair, dead or alive, money's not an issue. Who would you want to see? Um, I would want to see Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. I'm not, I'm not a big country, but I love Johnny Cash. My husband's a big Johnny Cash. We've seen him. That would be one person I think would be awesome. To see no, I can see the posters now for sure. Absolutely. Uh, Heidi, how do people find out more about the Lynn County Fair? If they want to come, if they want to visit, they want to watch online, how can they do that? Yep. They just go to the LynnCountyFair.com, all spelled out. Uh, make sure you put the in front of it or you go to a county fair in Oregon. <laughs> um, so that has all our information on the fair, what's going on during the fair, out of the fair, and even how to volunteer. It's got everything on it. Perfect. Perfect. Heidi, thanks for being on with us today. I appreciate you. Thank you. Well, baby, I'm on with a